Extreme Channel. This is Tejashwini. So today we are going to discuss about 7th class ICSC board and the topic is Unitary Method. So in my previous video which is Unitary Method Part 1, we have discussed about the inverse uh, and direct variation. That means uh, we have solved the solutions on inverse and direct variation in statement method. Uh, in this video, we are going to solve uh, the inverse and direct variation solutions in the arrow method. So let's get started. Now let's solve a question uh, which is of direct variation in arrow method. So the question is like this. The number of days are 10 and his earnings is 400 and the number of days are 28. His earnings is question mark. That means we need to find this. So a man earns 400 rupees in 10 days. So what will be his earnings in 28 days? So in arrow method first we need to do two columns. So there are, I'll just explain this step by step. So first we need to do two columns. Uh, so uh, in the first column we should write the first quantity and in the second column we should write the second quantity. So here are our first quantity is number of days. So here we can just write days. So this will be our first column and the second column is earnings. So we can write it as earnings. So here our number of days are 10 and what he sees earnings in 10 days. So it is 400. So he will earn rupees 400 in 10 days. And here come to the second one where the number of days are 28. So next what will be his earnings in 28 days? So his earnings will be question mark. So question mark is nothing but in math uh, as we don't know its value we should keep it as x. So like this we need to form the columns in the arrow method. So here our first step in the arrow method is forming the columns. So we have formed the columns already that is for 10 days a man will earn rupees 400 and for 28 days it is x that means we don't know this value. Now this is all about the first step. Now coming to the second step, the second step will be we should point the arrows towards the greater value. We should point the arrows towards the great value. That means first you need to observe that what is a greater value. So first let's start this side. So 400 and x. So as there is x here, we cannot point an arrow. So first we should know the x value. So we can just imagine that uh, uh, for 10 days, he will earn rupees 400. How much will he earn for 28 days? So for 10 days, if he is earning 400 rupees, for 28 days, he can earn more than 400. Right? For 28 days, he can earn more than 400 rupees. Therefore, the value of x will be greater than 400. Right? So you can point the arrow downwards towards the x. So, you should point an arrow like this. Coming to this side, obviously 28 is greater than 10, right? So, you should point an arrow like this. So, this is how to point the arrows. We should just imagine what will be our quantity of x or the value of x and point the arrows. So, when both the arrows are pointing towards the same direction, such kind of a uh, variation is known as direct variation. That means this solution is of direct variation. Now our second step is also completed that is pointing the arrows. Now coming to the third step that is writing the numbers in the fractional form. So writing the numbers in the fractional form. So how to write in the fractional form? See the arrows where they are, where they are pointing. Uh, so arrow is pointing here towards 28 right so this 28 should be written in the numerator and the rest of the uh, value or the rest of the quantity which is uh, there at the starting of arrow should be written in the denominator this is how you will form a uh, frac this, this is how you will write the numbers in the fractional form now coming to the second column here arrow is pointing towards x so, we should write x in the numerator and the remaining value in the denominator. Like this. So, this is all about the next step that you should form the 
numbers in a fractional form. Now, uh, after writing this in the fractional form, our next step will be cross multiplication. So, our next step will be cross multiplication. That means you should multiply this value with this and this value with this. That is 10 into x is equal to 28 into 400. So, you should write in this way and here x should be written as it is and even 28 into 400 also should be written as it is and 10 should be transferred this side so that it will become division divided by 10. Now let's cancel 0 and 0 will be cancelled and our answer will be x is equal to 1, 1, 2, 0. That means rupees 1120. So this is how you will find the value of x in the arrow method if it is direct variation. So this is the step by step process how to solve the solution in the arrow method. So at final our answer will be 1120 if you multiply 28 into 40. So this is all about the arrow method solution if the question is of direct variation. Now let's solve another question which is of inverse variation in arrow method. So the question is like this. Number of days are 5 and number of months is 4. But here number of days are 4 and number of months are question mark. So that means they have given us in 5 days 4 months can complete the given work. In 4 days how many months can complete the work. So here they are asking us to find the number of months who can complete the work in 4 days. That means how many number of months. So the first step in the arrow method is forming the columns. So first let's form two columns of two quantities. So the first quantity is days, right? That is days. And the second quantity is uh, men. So uh, in 5 days, 4 men can complete the work. And in 4 days, uh, we need to find this. So as we don't know the value, we should put it as x. Okay. So here, the, our first step is completed. That is formation of columns. So here, uh, the second step is pointing the arrows. So if 4 men can complete the work in 5 days, how many men can complete the work in 4 days? So here, uh, the number of men are less I mean the number of months are 4 so if 4 members join together they can do certain work in 5 days if how many members join together they can complete work in uh, 4 days so here 4 is smaller than 5 right so if 4 is smaller than 5 the number of months must be more than 4 months so if more members join together to do a work they can complete it fast right so here the number of months might be more so we should assume like this and so that is why we need to point the arrow towards the x here and here obviously here the greater value as the greater value is y we need to point the arrow towards upside so here one arrow is pointing towards one direction while the other is pointing towards other direction so that this solution uh, might be in the inverse variation so here we have completed our second step that is pointing the arrows and now we need to form this in the fractional form. We need to write these values in the fractional form. Again to write in the fractional form, the, uh, the direction where the arrow is pointing out, that number should be written in the numerator and the remaining quantity should be written in the denominator. So here 5 is pointing upwards, so that will be 5 by 4 is equal to here uh, the arrow is pointing towards x right so that x should be written in the numerator and the uh, second value should be written in the denominator. Denominator that is 4. Now cross multiplication. So even our third step is completed that is a formation of uh, the numbers in the fractional form. Now we need to do it cross multiplication. So 4 into x that is 4 into x is equal to 4 into 5. So x as it is, 
Now I am even 4 and 5 will be as it is. So transfer this 4 towards right hand side. So here we can cancel 4 and 4 and x will be 5. So x is equal to 5. So our answer is 5 here. That is 5. That means uh, there are 5 men who can complete the work in 4 days. So the answer is 5 men here. So this is how we can find out the or we can do the solution which is of inverse variation in arrow method. And these are the steps that we need to follow during the arrow method. And 5 will be our answer. So this is all about today's class. So today we have seen how to solve the questions of uh, which is of uh, direct and inverse variation in the arrow method. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And also please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will get notified every time we upload a new video. Thank you.